Okay, we're back. So I finally got Guy over here to talk about, as I was talking about before, what is your uh, foiling genre? What type of foiler do you identify as? So you'd be a supper first? Sure, yep. Into, yeah, yeah then downwind. Okay. Hey? Downwind. Supping. Supping, yes. Of course, so you're a supper. I've sort of stopped supping now. What, what are you Just doing? Just downwinding. What, paddling? Yeah. On I'm, a sup? That's it. I think we still call that supping, don't we? I don't know. We call it downwinding. Okay. Do we have to call it something? Okay, he's a, he's, he's a pro downwinder with a paddle <laughs> no. that stands on a board, okay? Yeah. Some people call sup it a sup, we call it, yeah. Okay, so look, uh, as I said before, like the 1001, I actually loved it on the wing, but from a supper's point of view, it's too hard to paddle up, is that right? In strong wind, it's great, but our conditions are really light, so we're, we're finding like we're doing a lot of really light runs, and we get to the start, and the wind might drop to like, you know, 12 or then under. Yeah. And so if, you, if you're paddling out with that, you're a bit apprehensive some days here. But over 15 to 18, that thing's yeah. insane. Yeah. Okay, just, just taking a bit more on that. So that's coming from a pro, and I'm like still semi kook with all this. So if they, if they even are reluctant on it, and you're not a, a, a really good um, downwind paddler, just forget about that totally. Take it out of the picture. Totally. If you're a weapon and you're doing lots of runs, that's the go-to. That's for speed. But, yep. you know, there's consistency in the one up from that, the 1051 being a little bit bigger. We're yep. finding the average speeds are much, much better. That's why I'm running the 1121 now, because your overall uh, speed and pump is way easier and you'll be quicker over the... 40Ks or 20Ks yeah. that you might do. So just so everyone knows, like 1121, so that's your wingspan. So the actual uh, area on this thing is uh, just under 1100, so 1,088. So still not that big. So, And this, you find you've got good control and balance on it? Unreal, yeah. So this, um, this basically is my go-to now. I've got rid of the 1201. I'm about 74 kilos. And since I got this, I can go when the boys are going in four to six knots, so we can still get up and go. Wow. Since adding the 362, I used to have the 362. That has been a game changer. That's got me down bumps. I can push forward, and I can, you know, I can get up to 34 yep. on most runs in really light winds. You know, 30. Um, and, just and fuse wise, you're just sticking to the short. Sticking with the short. A lot of guys have gone to the advanced. Um, I should probably go to the advanced. I will one day. Just been a bit lazy, but um, pretty well, happy with that setup. Sticking with what? Sticking with what works, yeah. yeah. And it's it's pitch it's pitch control too, so I like that being nice and stable. So, and it gives you a lot better stroke the longer so, the fuse. So, so going back to the old HPSs and all that. So let's just say I've got a 1050 HPS at home. Mm -hmm. How would you compare that to sort of this 1121? It's slower, uh, it's easier to paddle up, but once you're up, this is actually way better. So once you're up on this, yeah. you'll love it. So the problem with the 1050 is once you're up, you're turning off the bumps behind a lot, and this you can push forward. So the 1050 is unreal to get up. This though, if you time the bumps really nice, and you just know you can do it, yeah. it's actually interesting, the more you use it, the easier it gets because you can actually get up and push forward. Some foils you get up on the back of a windswell and you have to sort of yeah, pump yeah. away. Yep. This sometimes allows you to project forward down a bump and you're away instantly at speed. Yeah, well that's what I that's what I found on this with the, the wing. So but just going back, so what about the original ARTs? There's a lot of people saying, is it worth going from the original ART to the ART Pro? For me, one hundred percent because all those those ARTs they work. Um, on a wing, they're a bit more forgiving, so if you do have a drop or something like that, you can catch it. But on the SUP, you know, a drop is, can sometimes be terminal and you can't get back up. So how, yep. how do, what would you compare this to, so like 1121, so what ART original would you compare it to? Oh, look, close to the 1099. I've still got a soft spot for the 1099, Rob. Yeah. I love the 1099. Um, the 1099, just pumping in the surf when we used to surf, uh, when I used to just normal surf, I found it amazing. Now I've started pumping this, it's a lot higher speed. So speed difference, um, but they I can guess. Also, I think you sort of mentioned it before, I found you can actually climb, like before you had to bear off and go, but you can actually climb, even though you shouldn't be chasing the whole time, but it is actually to climb over and swell and bump with these ART pros. That's the difference. So these will get up and over. Yeah. You can do your up and overs and get down and pick gates and get forward and catch your mates yeah. when you And so that's the thing too, just for, you, the for you, you downwind guys out there, the straight line is not always the fastest. If you haven't got a little valley, a dip or a trough in front of you, you need to bear off, roll back, pick up another one and come back. And that's where I found these pros just excelled. 
It looked like it in your video, mate. <laughs> you were killing it. Yeah. And it was really, I was jealous, quite jealous watching you on this in the yeah. video. Yeah. Because I'd love to paddle this more. I'm working up to it. You just got to uh, well, have going, some wind. I'm wins. going on again today. So hopefully after this, I'll, if I'll uh, put some more vision up, so I'm going to do a big epic downwind today. So I'm going with all the kite dudes and they're just going to look at the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> they probably will, yeah. So play around with rear wings too, guys. This is really interesting. I went down um, too early. Uh, now, this is not really affecting anything for me. It's the timing getting up. And so yeah, I, I found too, like, you know, I was going micro. You always see me at Vampiris Chop Shop. I was chopping stuff down. I've actually gone reverse now because if you've got a really efficient tail, because my theory was... Um, you go fast enough, that tail is going to surface and cause a front wing breach. But these new tusks, what are they called? What do you call these ones? The flats or something, are they? Uh, skinnies. Skinnies. These skinnies are so efficient. You can put so much juice and speed into them, and they don't um, foil up and cause a breach. So, um, they're, yeah, they're, so they come in, you know, these, the, basically the 360, 45. There's one under that that I'm about to try too, but the boys are using it and loving it. So yeah. just to get that top end... You know, when yeah. you're actually needing to get down bigger swells, it's really, actually, a, it makes a big difference, so. All right, no worries then. Okay, folks, so there you have it. From a pro supper to all the punters out there, get out there and have a look at these Access Pros, and thanks for joining in. Come into SurfFX, ask for Guy, <laughs> and we'll see how we go. Thanks, You. Mate. You.